Hello, my scrappy peeps. It's Cheyenne, the Pixie Crafter. I am recovering from a cold, so I'm going to try not to sniffle and cough too much and uh, make this as short and sweet as possible. All right, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Snap Click Supply Company website. I have really been showing this website some love lately. Um, it's really fun, and I'm so happy that I found this website. So what can you do on this? There are a lot of physical products that you can order that will actually be shipped to your door. There are digital products that you can purchase, and that's more what I'm about. I enjoy hybrid scrapbooking because I like being able to have that image and be able to cut it and print it whatever size I want as many times as I want. That's very appealing to me. Oh, um, and they do, here's all of the designers that they have, um, that they're working with. So lots of different places and designs that you can get. Like it is possible for you to get digital files of the same collections that you can find in your scrapbooking stores and craft stores. So that's, I like that too because, you know, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because I'm not actually getting the physical products that I can only use once and then they're done. Oh, right, right now you can see all the Lori Whitlock digital items are half off. That's pretty nice. And um, I believe she's a designer for Doodlebug, which they have some of the cutest designs ever. Like right up there with Lawn Fawn for me, just so much cuteness. Um, and then there, there's certain things, 15% off. Sign up for their email because then um, you'll get notified whenever they have like $1 digital um, specials and, and all of that stuff. Oh, um, lots of different digital items that you can pick. Um, there's digital collections which will have the paper packs and the embellishments and all of that, like everything. Since I do mostly embellishments with my hybrid scrapbooking, I tend to just you know pop on over here to embellishments and go from there. Now you can see here some um, the latest Cartabella set that they have on the website and it's uh, practically perfect. So you can see here are the paper packs and then there's three embellishment packs that you can get or you can get the complete mega collection for um, a little bit more and you get the paper packs and the embellishment packs. Um, that's really nice. So $12.99 you're getting it all. You can print them on whatever media you want it to be, sticker paper, cardstock, whatever, any size. Um, so I love that. Now I love the Practically Perfect set too because it's Mary Poppins themed and it's pretty lovely. Um, I do actually own this set, so look forward to seeing embellishments from this set. Uh, okay, but anyway, I have been um, interested in St. Patrick's Day because it's just around the corner. So look at these, the Echo Park um, Easter sets. I love Echo Park. Echo Park's another one of those company that just has cute designs. Cartabella, I love it for more of a vintage -y sort of feel. So love it. Um, you can shop by theme as well. So if you just come over here and then different sales and just really like refine your search. They also have the option of getting a commercial license for some of their items. So if you are someone who makes and then sells what you're making, you're not going to come into any copyright issues with all of that. All right. So I've gone ahead and I've got another window here with the um, Echo Park mini theme that I have gone ahead and purchased and downloaded. It is actually on my laptop right now, but this is so cute. So it's got these papers. There's six 12 by 12 pattern papers, which means that you can print these out in a 12 by 12 size if you have a printer that can do it. I believe you can also take it to somewhere like um, Staples, Office Max, Kinko's and have them print it out 12 by 12 for you too, which also gives you the option of choosing the thickness of the paper that you want it to be printed on. So that's really nice. Um, 
There are also a lot of elements that come with it, and I am super excited to make some St. Patrick's Day stuff with this. I really, um, like Echo Park has a, uh, quite a few mini themes, so you're getting some of the paper and the embellishments, and it's not like a full-on um, kit. Because I, I don't do a whole lot for St. Patrick's Day, but I like to decorate a little bit for it. So having the little mini theme is nice. Here's another little mini theme option from Echo Park. And, you know, again, it has the papers and the embellishments. And it's just, it's really nice and it's sweet. And, um, yeah, so that was pretty much it for Snap Click Supply Company. I... Like I said, I really love it. If you're into digital products and hybrid, hybrid scrapbooking, I would absolutely um, suggest checking them out. Now, what do you do after you've got these? So, all right, again, I've already gone ahead and downloaded the file. I've unzipped it into its own file. So now I want to make sure it's going to end up in my Cricut design space because I have a Cricut and this is what I use for my print and cut projects. So what I like to do is I've got my Cricut design space open. I have it on a new, so here we go, you open up a new product project and then you come down here to upload. That's going to bring up this page. I then go ahead and reduce the size of my screen and I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Echo Park Lucky Charm set. So, all right, here's the elements, and that's more what I'm concerned about right now. So, see, I've got these two files side by side. What next? You're going to go ahead and click Upload Image. Now, I prefer to pull and drop. Um, that's why I have the two um, windows open and going. I find it works faster for me to do this it this way. You can go ahead and select browse and pull it from that as well. So here we've got our image. Then we can select how complex our image is. Now because I'm going with print and cuts, I want to make sure I get all the details in that image. So I always hit complex. And then this screen is going to pop up and this is where you can do any sort of editing um, to kind of make sure you're going to get the right cut image. Um, you are very limited in what you're able to edit. In this, really, you can just take things away or crop things. So it's, it's, it's very limited. If you've got to do a lot of work, it's best to go ahead and work on that image in a, a, a image editing software like Photoshop or GIMP, um, whichever you prefer. All right, so that's that. I've hit continue and now this screen comes up so save as a print and cut image or save as a cut image now if you only save as a cut image this is it you're never going to have the actual um, print image available so I suggest always saving as a print and cut image now over here there's the image name I usually keep it whatever name is over here but I do like to tag these images. I tag it with the um, brand um, that it's from and then the collection. So I'm going to put Mini Lucky Charms. And that's going to give me my tag. So when I'm looking for this set, all I have to do is um, go to Images here and then search for Echo Park or Mini Lucky Charms and that will bring all of those up. I'm going to go ahead and copy that because there's a lot of images here that I need to bring over so it's easier just to go ahead and um, control V or go ahead and paste that way. Um, so alright once you get that all set you're going to hit save and then it's just going to go ahead and um, save that image into your Cricut library. So this is going to be available to you within your Cricut Design Space um, program. Now, this set also comes with papers. Now you can upload papers onto um, your Cricut Design Space as a pattern fill. So you're just going to come over here, click on Pattern, um, and then see here's that browse where you can go through whatever, wherever file you need to go. 
but like I said I just find it's easier to just drag and drop like that so there we go it's dragged and dropped so here's my image you can go ahead and you can really like click on what um, theme it is if there's a specific style if there's colors just to make it a little bit easier for you to find um, it is kind of a bummer that there's not like a tag feature but if you go ahead and click on the correct theming and even like the style and the colors then you'll be okay chances are you'll be able to find it so you click save now I will say that it takes longer for patterns to upload and save than it does the images so just have a little patience with it and don't rush it I've tried rushing it and it ends up kind of almost like freezing my my laptop and I end up having to restart and it's just not fun so you see it's still saving right now Again, be patient once it pops up to that opening screen where you have the option to upload the image or the pattern then you can go ahead and continue to upload everything once you've got everything uploaded you can go ahead like I said um, click on images select any of the images that you want to go ahead and use on your project and you know that's all normal and uh, every day so all right that was all that I wanted to cover today I hope this helps you out with any sort of digital hybrid scrapbooking go check out snap clip supply company I am not affiliated with them I'm not affiliated with anyone anymore because I just want to do this for fun and not worry about selling anything or making money from it this is just something I do because I want to teach and share oh anyway enough of that see here we go we're back on that page so then you just continue doing what you're doing till it's all done it can be a little time intensive but once you've got it uploaded you don't have to do it again and then I mean you just it opens up a whole new world for you so all right that is it for today if you have any questions comments concerns you can go ahead and leave a comment or go ahead and message me if you like and uh, until next time happy scrapping bye Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, please go ahead and leave me a comment. And uh, if you want to see more, here's some videos that might interest you.